The underwater world holds a special allure for adventurers. As divers, we are drawn to the mystery and beauty found beneath the surface. Exploring deeper opens up new sights, but it also comes with increased risks. One of these risks, often overlooked, is nitrogen narcosis. Imagine descending into the blue, the pressure building around you. You feel a sense of euphoria, a lightness that wasn't there at the surface. You might feel giddy, almost drunk. This, my friends, is nitrogen narcosis, and it's no laughing matter. While the ocean offers incredible experiences, it's crucial to understand the potential hazards. Nitrogen narcosis is one such hazard, particularly affecting deep dives. By understanding this condition, we can better equip ourselves to dive safely and responsibly. Nitrogen narcosis, often called the martini effect, is a condition that affects divers at depth. It's caused by the increased partial pressure of nitrogen in our bodies as we descend. This excess nitrogen, normally inert, starts to affect our brain's neurotransmitters, leading to altered perceptions and impaired judgment. Picture this, you're at a depth of 100 feet, surrounded by vibrant coral and curious fish. You feel happy, relaxed, almost invincible. But this feeling isn't just the magic of the ocean. It's nitrogen narcosis at play. The deeper you go, the more pronounced the effects become. It's like sipping on one too many martinis. Hence the nickname. The symptoms can vary from mild euphoria to severe disorientation, making it crucial to recognize and address them promptly. It's important to differentiate nitrogen narcosis from another diving related condition decompression sickness, also known as the bends. While both are caused by changes in pressure, they are distinct conditions with different mechanisms and treatments. Nitrogen narcosis is a temporary reversible effect of nitrogen on the brain occurring at depth. Decompression sickness, on the other hand, results from the formation of nitrogen bubbles in the bloodstream and tissues due to rapid ascent. Think of it this way, narcosis is like getting tipsy at a party, while decompression sickness is like getting a severe case of the flu after being exposed to a virus. Both can be avoided with proper precautions and understanding of the risks involved. Recognizing the symptoms of nitrogen narcosis is crucial for safe diving. The effects can be subtle at first, often mistaken for the excitement of the dive. However, as the narcosis sets in, the symptoms become more pronounced and can quickly escalate if not addressed. Common symptoms include lightheadedness, euphoria, anxiety, and impaired judgment. You might feel overconfident, make poor decisions, or experience tunnel vision. Some divers describe it as feeling narked, similar to being intoxicated. If you or your dive buddy notice any of these symptoms, it's crucial to ascend to a shallower depth immediately. Remember, early recognition and action are key to managing nitrogen narcosis effectively. Section 5. First Aid for Nitrogen Narcosis. Ascend and Recover. The good news is that nitrogen narcosis is generally reversible upon ascent. The moment you start to feel the effects, the most important action is to slowly ascend to a shallower depth. This reduces the partial pressure of nitrogen in your body. 
allowing the symptoms to subside. Think of it like releasing the pressure valve on a cooker. As you ascend, the excess nitrogen gradually dissipates from your system and your mental clarity returns. It's essential to ascend slowly and controlled, following your dive computer's guidelines. Once at a shallower depth, continue to breathe normally and monitor your symptoms. In most cases, the effects of nitrogen narcosis wear off completely within minutes. However, it's crucial to remain vigilant and avoid further deep dives until you're fully recovered. Section six, diving safe. Tips for preventing nitrogen narcosis. Prevention is always better than cure and that holds true for nitrogen narcosis. By following some simple safety tips, you can minimize the risk of experiencing narcosis and ensure a safer and more enjoyable dive. First and foremost, dive within your limits. Know your depth and air consumption limits and stick to them. Avoid deep dives if you're feeling tired, stressed, or dehydrated. Secondly, Ascend slowly and make safety stops as planned. This allows for gradual off-gassing of nitrogen and reduces the risk of decompression sickness. Thirdly, stay hydrated and avoid alcohol consumption before diving. Alcohol can exacerbate the effects of nitrogen narcosis and impair your judgment. Section seven, respecting the limits, nitrogen narcosis and diving responsibility. As divers, we have a responsibility to ourselves and our dive buddies to dive safely and responsibly. Understanding and respecting the risks associated with nitrogen narcosis is paramount to ensuring a safe and enjoyable diving experience. Never be afraid to call a dive if you feel uncomfortable or experience any symptoms of narcosis. Your safety is paramount and there's no shame in erring on the side of caution. Remember diving is a privilege not a right and we must treat it as such. By educating ourselves about the risks, planning our dives meticulously, and adhering to safety guidelines, we can mitigate the dangers and continue to explore the underwater world with confidence and respect. Section eight, conclusion, dive safe, dive smart. The underwater world is a place of wonder and beauty, but it demands our respect. Nitrogen narcosis, while potentially dangerous, is a manageable risk when we understand its causes, symptoms, and preventative measures. By diving within our limits, monitoring our air and depth, and recognizing the signs of narcosis, we can enjoy the thrill of deep diving while minimizing the risks. Remember, dive safe, dive smart, and never underestimate the power of the ocean. As we venture deeper into the blue, let's do so with knowledge, awareness, and a deep respect for the underwater realm we're privileged to explore. Happy and safe diving.